I want to read each nominee off, and I want to get just a quick reaction, a sentence, even just a word. Call me by your name. Terrific movie. Sensitive, beautifully made, very rare to see a coming-of-age movie with that much class and that much taste. Darkest Hour. A picture that has a great performance by Gary Oldman, who is so perfect as Winston Churchill that I couldn't even believe it was Gary Oldman. But he is really great in, in a film that otherwise put me to sleep at regular intervals. Dunkirk. Hated it. Get Out. Truly one of the worst movies I've ever seen. A complete fraud, that picture. And uh, these young critics today, the last thing they care about is plot. Okay, but in terms of plot, I mean, I went with my brother and we talked about it afterwards. That thing's airtight. There's no hole in it. I thought, I thought the whole thing was just an... A, a, an enormous clumsy bore. I didn't care if those, if all the black men in it turned into robots. What is, what is that movie about? It, it involved me emotionally in no way at all. Get out. Lady Bird. Lady Bird is a lovely film that is a very, very good first attempt for a first film yeah. by a woman. You know, she's nominated for Best Director and the picture is nominated for Best Picture, but Greta Gerwig is nominated for Best Director, and that's, that's only happened four times in Oscar history. Only four women who have been directors have ever been nominated. Phantom Thread. Phantom Thread is a beautiful movie to look at, although I think it's, it's incredibly difficult to understand, and the ending doesn't make one bit of sense. And I still don't know what the title means. There's no Phantom Thread in this movie. The Post. Well, that's, The Post is my favorite movie of the year. I think it's a great movie. A great movie. You have all of these kids making movies today, but they can't compare to a real pro like Spielberg. Steven Spielberg knows how to make movies. And at a time when it is very important to support freedom of the press, this movie could not be more relevant. Uh, the Shape of Water. Well, I hated that. I'm not much for fantasy anyway, but I tell you right now, a movie about a scarred, mentally deranged woman who scrubs toilets and then falls in love with an Amazonian creature uh, from the Black Lagoon. Not my kind of film. Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. There's that... Frances McDormand performance by a woman who plays everything the same way, completely one-dimensional, and she probably will win an Oscar. But uh, the movie did nothing for me. I didn't care for that picture all that much, although it is interesting. It's different. Was there anything that, that's not on that list that you think wouldn't have Oh, yes, and <clears throat> where is I, Tanya? This is a terrific movie. This movie, I expected nothing, and I ended up being not only royally entertained, but educated. I learned a lot about ice skating. I learned a lot of things about Tanya Harding that I didn't know. Allison Janney played the mother, right. and she was a mother from hell, and she was really good. She not only found a way to play a negative character with humor and originality, but she also managed to almost carry the movie in all the scenes that she was in. She dominated. And she made a thoroughly unpleasant character very memorable. Are you going to watch the Oscars? Oh, I always do. Yeah. I love to watch the Oscars with a club sandwich in bed.